It's a question I'm often asked by either new agents or people trying to get into the real estate industry. And that question is, what is MLS and what is IDX? Emmanuel here, and in today's video, I wanna break down exactly what those two acronyms mean and hopefully help you out so you have a better understanding of how those technologies work. MLS, IDX, what exactly do these letters mean and why exactly do I need to know them? It's a question that every single realtor asks themselves as soon as they get their license or maybe as they navigate through their path in their real estate career. Well, to better understand what they are, I first wanna start by explaining to you how they are related to each other. Simply put, you can have MLS without IDX, but you cannot have IDX without having MLS. Confused yet? All right, let me dig into this a little bit more, shall we? First, let's start with the MLS or the multiple listing service. And simply put, the MLS is no more than a glorified spreadsheet. Technically, it's more of a database, but for example's sake, just to try to simplify the explanation of what the MLS is, let's call it a spreadsheet because they're essentially one and the same. And yes, you absolutely heard me correctly. The MLS is no more than a glorified Microsoft Excel sheet or a Google sheet. Think of it this way. The multiple listing service is no more than a spreadsheet with a bunch of columns and rows. Each row is essentially a property and each column is information that is related to that property. Now, each county or city has a company that controls their MLS. In order to get access to the MLS, two things need to be true. One is that you need to be a licensed realtor and two, you need to pay to get access to that data. So why is the MLS MLS so valuable, you may ask. Why not just use one of those other free websites where you can get access to the properties like Zillow or Redfin? Well, the reality is websites like Zillow or Redfin or any other free MLS database that you can have access to does not truly provide you with all of the information about a particular property. You see, MLSs tend to provide an extra layer of information that is only privy to licensed real estate agents. So having access to the MLS pays tenfold because you're able to provide your clients with more information so that they can make better decisions. And that is all the MLS is. Sure, some MLSs will tout more bells and whistles and additional functions, but at its base, at its core, the reality is, as I mentioned earlier, the MLS is no more than a glorified spreadsheet that is updated regularly. Okay, great, now you understand what the MLS is. So what the heck is IDX? IDX stands for Internet Data Exchange, and all it does is allow you the ability to search the MLS on your website. Confused yet? All right, let me simplify this as well. Let's say that you're a realtor and you have a website, and one of the goals of your website is to feed in properties from the MLS to your website automatically. Or maybe you just want people to be able to search the MLS from your website. Well, one of the technologies that's available for you to use is called IDX. IDX is simply some software that you install on your website so that properties are automatically fed to it so that visitors are looking at up-to-date information versus you having to manually upload those properties every single time a new listing is posted. So why is IDX so important? You see, MLSs tend to be very protective of their data, unless you're a large company or you're willing to pay a pretty penny. A great example of this could be like here in Los Angeles, where you could pay upwards of tens of thousands of dollars annually just to get access to that data. Now, for most agents, this price point is just way too high and the ends simply do not justify the means. So what some companies do is they pay for the data and then they resell it to you for a cheaper cost. By having multiple agents pay for those subscriptions at a lesser rate, it effectively subsidizes the cost so that it makes it cheaper for you to have access to the MLS on your website. And the byproduct of this entire conversation about this technology is called IDX. And when we're talking about subsidized costs, we're looking at a hundred dollars setup and about a plus and minus $50 a month for that data. Now to wrap things up, the MLS may be a requirement for you to operate your real estate business, but IDX is not. Really, to justify IDX, you have to know your numbers. Do the ends truly justify the means? Does paying for an IDX subscription really justify a return on investment? And in most cases, the truthful answer is no. In fact, I've dealt with a lot of agents that truly believe IDX really isn't that necessary when it comes to building out their digital presence. But the real question that you should be asking yourself is, if you plan on using IDX, what exactly is your goal? 
And in fact, I made a really great video about what IDX is. I'm gonna link it in the description below. I hope you watch it and maybe it'll help you make a better and more informed decision on whether or not you truly need IDX. And if you're still feeling stuck, by all means, please reach out. This is one of the things that we're experts in and we will try to provide you with as much guidance as possible. Now, with all this being said, I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, make sure you click the like button, you click the subscribe button, as well as the bell icon. You know it helps out the video and it also helps out our channel. Thank you so much in advance. And if you have any questions or feedback, please drop them in the comment section below. We'll get to them as soon as possible. All right, that wraps up today's video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.